Uh, Michigan has a chance to get right back in here because this was a tough match last time as well. It, went, it took about it was six to two, uh, but, but it, it was close. It was close until about uh, final minute or so. Look at this. Kind of a bad angle there. Yeah, he shot across the body. Moore did for Iowa. Got caught in that front headlock position. Boy, Michigan wears on your head. They're really, uh, they wore on Eustace's head. They're doing a good job, and they're wearing on, wearing on uh, Moore's head here. You're looking at um, Cliff Moore from Iowa, ranked number five. His record's 19 and four. Foley Dow, a sophomore, ranked number seven. Record 21 and five. Last time they wrestled, it was six to two in favor of Moore. Great matchup. I'll tell you, it was a hard-fought match, so it took three or four minutes to open the match up. Probably more like four, four and a half, and then Moore came on pretty strong. But uh, it was dead even before that. Action, guys. It's a pretty strong tendency of the Michigan program, and they just stay right there in the middle. They're not going to... They present themselves. They'll get on your head. Yeah. No, no. There he's on his I'll head again, so I'll tell you, that wears your neck down. Well, I'll tell you, they're really front headlocking the Hawks right here. Both we, matches. And we saw more in this situation earlier here uh, in the season when he went against Johnny Thompson from Oklahoma State. He got his no. head down, and... We didn't see it very long. Yeah. 0-0, zero, zero, minute 40 left in the first period. We're in the third match of the evening at 133 pounds. Iowa winning the first two. Mako with a win at heavyweight. And then Eustace winning at 125 to score 6-0 in favor of Iowa over Michigan. Dow did a good job of circling back in. Now he's got more off to the edge of the mat. So they maintain their position in the middle of the mat. You know what that does, Dan? It keeps the crowd from, you know, uh, getting uh, uh, on the official for stalling calls. If you you present yourself in the middle and you're the visitor, it keeps the crowd out of the match to some degree. I agree totally. That's what a heavyweight didn't do at the first part of the match. You got a, you know, got a stall call, first stall call. Then they went back and forth. One minute. Let's go now. One minute left in the first you period. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. There. There's Coach Zaleski, Tom Brands. The Iowa Brain Trust have to be pleased with the first two results. They're out front 6-0 of a team that beat them 23-12 just a few weeks ago. Oh. Two points did. for Michigan. Oh. Foley down. Beautiful dump on that. Yeah, but you know what he did? Moore, instead of fighting in the center, putting the weight on the hips, tried to jump away. He saw that out of bounds. He thought that was a safety net. And that just made that dump look real easy because no weight on the leg. Right. And so that made it look pretty easy. So, and one point escape. One. You got to put. You got to stay right where you're at and use your counters no matter where you're at. Otherwise, you give the other guy an edge. Just like you're in the middle of the mat, no yeah. matter where you are. As soon as he dove a little bit away, that power went away from what he was doing from a defensive point of view and gave the offensive wrestler, like you said, wow, what a dump, you know. Yeah. A lot of lessons for uh, the. The wrestlers that are watching today, you're listening to two national champion coaches, Dan Gable, Jim Gibbons. Center. We're entering, the, or we're getting ready to end the first period. The score's two to one. It was a very nice takedown by Foley Dowd over Cliff Moore. Makes the score two to one at the end of the first period. A reminder that today at intermission, we'll be talking about a very special one hour program entitled, entitled Kale Sanderson, Portrait of a Champion coming to I Iowa Public Television on March 31st. Plus, we'll show you an excerpt. We'll visit with USA Wrestling's Larry Nugent about their partner program, and we'll show you our remaining wrestling schedule for this season. Plan to watch today at intermission. Hey. Another point there for more. Yeah, you see that switch, so that was an explosive move, the kind that uh, gets you an escape instead of just hanging out. Dow's really kind of uh, doing a good job of controlling more here, and it looks like he could get another takedown here. Went to the front headlock, now jumps into a double leg attempt, yeah. and now it did a great job, which makes this a different match than last time. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And uh, Michigan's, you know, count on this young man. This young man's coming out with some authority. Dowd is just doing a great job of working Moore's head. He did it off the front right. headlock position, worked into a single leg, and right when Moore was squaring up there, it looked like he uh, switched to a double leg, drove through, and slammed him down. It was great technique. When, when Dowd's getting in, he's a shorter wrestler, and he's getting in with his feet underneath him, and he's allowing himself good hip position to be able to score. And if you saw the height of Moore, he's standing up to way too high. His hips should be down another foot. He should be squatting to stop that momentum. But uh, 
Uh, Moore, you know, if he, Moore can get himself out, he's back in the match, but he's going to have to start. Uh... Wow. Oh, oh boy. that was boy. all power there. Wow. He took Unbelievable. Right over. Yeah. That was a just I power. You, coaches are. They're, they're, I don't know why he stayed in there and hung on to that position. That was like a nightmare watching Boy. for the uh, Hawkeyes. That Great was like point. taking an accordion. Yeah. <laughs> just bring the head and the arm together and uh, head and the leg together and just took him down, just like he was in a cradle. Yeah. Foley Dowd from Michigan Go jumping out round. to a 7-2 to uh, lead with two really nice takedowns and then a real strong move to the back. Again, that was... Yeah. Uh, Comes up to the collar. And just wow. nothing there. Drives him. Just, just drives just him over. Just him over. Yeah. Should have released, known when he was in trouble. But absolutely. At the same time, uh, you know, that's to Michigan's credit. Breaking this match open. Nice job uh, again by Moore getting out. Moore got a takedown right in the next 30 seconds. He gives himself a chance. So far, he's been not been able to penetrate very well. Dow just keeps the pressure on. Him. He's yep. doing a good job. Scores seven to three. 20 seconds. These 20 seconds must. Must have a takedown. 20 seconds left in the, the second Hawks. period. Hawkeye wrestler Moore down, 7-3. to three. Look at him, Dan, go right to that wrist. He's not exploding, and the guy's doing a good job of keeping him off his legs. Last time he was penetrating much better. You see Moore's upper body a little bit uh, straight, or lower body's a little bit straight, knees a little bit straight. Tune in this Sunday night at 7 for a new nature program about puppies. Don't miss this practical per perspective on behavior, breeding, training, and our love affair with puppies. Sunday at 7 o'clock on your statewide Iowa Public Television Network. That's on Nature, the best series about nature. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Eustace got a win. Reverse the decision from last time. Michigan coming right back, trying to reverse the decision from... Uh, Look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. He is really doing the reshot on him. They may be looking for a major here. I'm sure they are. What and they a know swing. they're missing a, a, a they got real a major important right wrestler now. coming up. And so this uh, Dowd is really doing the job for Michigan. Yeah, it just, just does not look like the same wrestler that went to the Midlands Use it now. Uh, and won the Midlands. Uh, more. He's. Look, wow. Stalling on uh, the bottom man. That's the oh, Iowa yeah. wrestler. Yeah, he just looks. Uh, Worn out. Cliff Moore down Cliff three to uh, out. ten to three. Eleven three. Yes, was riding time. So, so it's, a it's a major, major decision. right now. Yeah. Wow. Coaches um, got to be wondering what's going on here for the Hawkeyes. Well, you got to pour it on when you can here. I, don't I was going to say he's feeling it, isn't he, Jim? Yeah, he is. He's got a, he's got more with his face down in the mat. Molly. You get an opponent down here in this arena against this program, you got to follow through. And I've just been impressed with his power. Yeah, he's just, uh, not really sure why here, but he's just really taking it to him. Everything's moving, but there's, there's nothing in it. I mean, he said he runs back strong. I mean, he's a competitor, but there's not much there for this particular match. Well, Dowd's done it all in this match. He's put some horsepower in this match. This is a big turnaround for the Wolverines here. Right when the Hawks thought they had a break, Wolverines coming back and taking that break away. The break we're talking is coming up in the next match where the Well, right a break right now would be a, just eliminate a major. Right, there you go, and, yeah. and he just eliminates... Uh, no, he didn't. Yeah, you're right, he needs a takedown. Yeah. Let's go now. It's 11 to four on the scoreboard with riding advantage, so it's right now a major decision if there's no more scoring. Right back in, Michigan wrestler. Looks what Dowd does, just goes right back on the attack, he's not threatened. Nah, he didn't do an iron side move there. But uh, uh, he's getting, getting some horse there. That arm, that one arm should not stop you there. Should have reshot, but uh, it did. He's just not exploding. He's reaching. Just can't read. Yeah, they could call him for a warning, but that's not going to make any difference. Let's it's go, guys. Not. Let's go. What a turnaround. Yeah, yeah. Michigan's yeah. Foley Dowd comes up and uh, really uh, sticks his finger in the dike, the, the hole there, um, and uh, stops the. Stops the leak in big time for Michigan. Big, big win. That's four points for Michigan. Big win. Turnaround for uh, Foley Dowd. That makes the score six to four. Or should be six. Yeah, six to four in favor of Iowa. Well, here's a big break for the Hawkeyes coming up here.